This problem is an atom of neon traveling at the speed of light has an energy value of 1.51 times 10 to the negative ninth. It asks what is the mass of the atom in kilograms. When I first saw this problem, I thought of Einstein's equation, E equals mc squared, mainly because they mentioned the speed of light. But in actuality, uh, a better way to solve this problem is using the formula for kinetic energy, which is Ke is equal to 1 half mass times velocity squared, where our Ke will be this energy value they give us, and the V will be the speed of light. We tell the speed of light, and we can solve for m. So let's plug in the energy value they gave us. And that's equal to one half of mass, which is what we're trying to find, times the speed of light, which rounds up to three times 10 to the eight. And that's meters per second, and this is squared. So breaking this problem down a little bit, first let's uh, break down this, this part right here. This is just, this becomes, again, whenever you square something, it's just multiplying by itself. So this becomes 9 times 10 to the 16th power, if you add the exponents. And uh, we can bring this down, so it's still 1 half times the meter, and still equal to 1.51 times 10 to the negative ninth. Okay. Now to simplify even more, we can divide each side by the 9 times 10 to the 16th power. And that will give us which is now equal to minus or uh, one half of m. The way I like to do these exponent divisions is when, whenever dividing exponents like these two guys here, you're just minus nine minus 16. That's one rule you have to remember when you're dealing with exponents, which is very common if you're doing these kind of problems. Um, whenever you're dividing, you're basically subtracting the exponents. And uh, you can solve this part of it with a simple four function calculator. 1.5 divided by 9 gives you 0.167. Uh, so we can break this down even more by multiplying each side by 2, which goes on to give us about 3. Point, let me write that a little better. Uh, 0 0.335, which is still 10 to the negative 25th power, is now equal to m. So your final answer, uh, if you want to add the proper units, comes out to uh, 0 0.335 times 10 to the negative 25th, that's in kilograms, is equal to your mass. And uh, whenever you're using this problem with this equation here, uh, the mass is always in kilograms, which is, again, one of the reasons why I thought E equals mc squared, because uh, the mass in E equals mc squared is also related to kilograms. And that's how you solve uh, these type of, this type of complex problem.